Hey Scorpio, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. This is going to be your general weekly reading for December the 5th through the 11th. Any information you all need, you can find it down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started here for you, Scorpio. Um, I do have a holiday special going on right now for personals. That's going to be, all that information is going to be down in the description box. Um, I don't really read in a straight line with these readings, so if the message doesn't appear to be sticking, feel free to stick around or skip around. You might find something that is meant for you, okay? Wow, what is going on here? The tower in the very middle of your reading. Um, but then you have the Wheel of Fortune, so let's see. You have five majors here, and the Page of Pentacles is your overall energy. Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be receiving a message this week from an Earth sign or an Air sign, okay? The Page of Pentacles, it does look like some kind of good news is coming in. Like, it seems like, to me, the Page of Pentacles is representing some kind of saving grace here as your overall energy because you move from the Tower to the Wheel of Fortune to all this good energy down here, the Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Strength card, so... um yeah, I guess let's go ahead and talk about it. You start off with the Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you guys are a little bit mentally uh, restless here, Scorpio, like kind of jumping around. Um, now, this could be an energy of somebody who's very, like, observant, curious. Now, while this could be you, um, this can also represent somebody in your energy. A lot of readers will refer to that as the card of spying, okay? But I feel like there's a lot going on with you personally, so that's the reason I say this could be you kind of jumping around mentally here. Um, but it could also be someone kind of looking at you. So we'll see what's going on. Curious about what you're doing here. If that's the case, Scorpio, it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with the Page of Swords for Scorpio here? Four of Cups. Ten of Swords. Okay. Moon in Cancer. Sun in Gemini. Yeah, I do feel like there could, again, some of you, it's going to be that there's like some mental exhaustion here because you have the Ten of Swords. Swords do represent the mind and the intellect. It's like there's something here that's just complete overkill, right? I feel like you guys are just in a space where it's like you can't stop thinking about something here. Um, I think that's why you're in the Four of Cups. It, Four of Cups energy as well. This is a card of like contemplation, just not being satisfied. So I think some of you just keep going to the root of something over and over again. So just be mindful of that and kind of set boundaries with that energy. Know when to move on to something new mentally. Know when it's like affecting you in a really negative way. Others of you, I do think there could be somebody here that you've had an ending with who has their eye on you, um, especially with the Four of Cups showing up. It's like they may be feeling ignored or maybe they ignored you in the past and that's why they're not really swinging the sword now. Um, but I do feel like somebody has their eye on you here. They could end up messaging you, especially with the messenger being your overall energy. Let's look at the will, um, not the will of fortune, um, the world card. What's happening here? What is going on with the world? Ten of Wands. You guys have a lot going on here. You know, there's something else that you're dropping here. You have two tens. Tens talk about completion. The world talks about completion. The Will of Fortune talks about um, cycles. You know, you have the tower here, a foundation crumbling. Um, you have the Four of Wands, a foundation being built. And then you have the chariot, forward movement. So, um, yeah, the Ten of Wands seems to be something that you're dropping here. Ooh, one second here, Scorpio. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Swords right here. Oh, goodness. I can pick it up. Ooh, I'm struggling here at my old age of 26, 25, 26 in February. Anyhow, <laughs> Eight of Swords. Some of you could have Jupiter and Gemini, but yeah. I thought this is the you know energy that you're leaving behind because the Eight of Swords is another card to me that's talking about this like mental exhaustion that you're going through here, Scorpio. Um, I'm not sure what this is referring to, just kind of uh, fulfilling other people's desires. This could also be um, you know not really fulfilling enough of your own. That's the main energy that I feel here, um, possibly giving a lot of uh, communication, a lot of like your words, a lot of effort and energy to people who aren't giving back to you. But I feel as if you're like replaying something in your mind over and over here, and it's just time to let that go, Scorpio. I think you're realizing that. Um, you know, so this seems to be the world that you're stepping out of and the world that you're stepping into is this ace of swords right here Okay, so that's mental clarity. All right, so I think that you're totally freeing yourself from that energy here What's going on with the ace of swords? What is happening here with the Ace of Swords? You have the Sun. And you have the Three of Wands. You have the Four of Wands down here. So I like this because it's telling me that whatever energy you're stepping into, um, it, it's really positive. It's going to move you forward where you want to be. It's going to move you away from this energy here. Excuse me. It could be a Leo or a Capricorn if this is a love situation. 
I do have Aries here as well. But yeah, I feel like you're headed towards something that's kind of unfamiliar as well. Like you don't expect to, um, you know, want to, to want what it is that you want. But you know, I think that the person you're becoming um, is more in alignment with this. Okay, so uh, it seems like you're moving in a totally opposite direction from what you're used to, but it's a very positive thing. Uh, you have the Sun card here that is a card of optimism, high vibrations, joy, new beginnings. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, uh, victory. You have that Three of uh, Wands right here. It's a card of kind of looking out into the future. So I feel like you guys are planning for that as well. Um, and you're scoping things out, like what's good for me? Like what, am I, what do I feel drawn to in this new energy of mine? You have the Two of Pentacles right here, Jupiter in Capricorn. Let's look at this. I'm getting something with a performance, okay? Two of Pentacles can sometimes talk about something being out of balance, something being um, unstable. Sometimes it can talk about you managing despite instability, right? Uh, that's why we look at the ship there in the background on top of those waters that are constantly changing. Um, however, here, I'm, I'm seeing him as a performer. So let's see what this is about here. What's going on with the Two of Pentacles for Scorpio? Queen of Pentacles lovers oh yeah i think especially if you dealt with a gemini or a pisces here in the past scorpio um if they're sending you some kind of message page of pentacles is your overall energy um i think that they are kind of putting on a show here for you that they're stable you know that there's somebody that you can have harmony and peace with now uh some of you i feel like they have um financial problems still but i think that they're kind of in a space where they're denying that you know they're pretending that everything's all good now you have the high priestess right here i think there are hidden motives i think this will lead to chaos okay if you are to entertain it okay you got the tower that showed up twice pretty much so let's look at the tower right here scorpio and aries my goodness scorpio you've got to be careful with this here eight of pentacles and the seven of swords yeah everything you worked for everything you worked for can be taken with one decision, one decision to entertain this energy right here, okay? I think that it really had its grip on you here in the past, Scorpio, especially with that devil energy that we had show up at first. Seven of Swords is a card of trickery, theft, deception. You got the Eight of Pentacles, a card of putting in the work. It's like that can be completely destroyed in the blink of an eye here if you are to entertain this. You have the Wheel of Fortune right here. Um, you know, and I do think that after this tower happened, there was some kind of saving grace that came through here, like somebody helped you or somebody came in and really changed your perspective. You got a new opportunity. It's like something pulled you out of that grave that this person dug for you. And, um, you know, I think that would be a lot harder to do a second time. You have the Wheel of Fortune right here. Fixed Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Let's look at that. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio here? Three of Cups, Two of Swords. Yeah, shut it out here, okay? Um, three of Cups right here. I think you guys have an amazing support system here, or you're going to have an amazing support system. That's something that you're headed towards. Um, this looks exciting to me, a celebration, a victory. Some of you, you could be in a space where you're just now closing this out, and the Two of Swords is telling you to be okay with the in-between, be okay with that empty space. Even if it's a little bit uncomfortable right now, something is coming in to take its place. That's what's going on with the Wheel of Fortune. The Three of Cups is a harvest, a celebration, a coming together, okay? It's a really happy joyful time and the two of swords I do think is you kind of being comfortable and at peace in the in-between like yes you've closed this out maybe you don't have something new to take its place yet but that's perfectly okay you're optimistic you're positive that something good is coming and you're 100% correct four of wands um, that's uh, Venus and Aries some of you could have Venus and Aries moon and Libra possibly Mercury and Cancer what's going on with the four of wands Nine of Cups. Yeah, a good support system here. Seven of Pentacles. And this is something that you've waited on when the Seven of Pentacles shows up. Like, I feel as if you have started planting these seeds here. I don't think that you're in a space where you're really chasing after anything. You're just kind of sitting. You're like, I put the intention out there. I did the work that I need to do. I'm going to keep working on things, you know. Um, I feel like you're in a really peaceful, calm energy, not holding too much to control or outcome. You're just doing what it is that you feel you need to do, kind of going with the flow of things. You have a lot of support in doing this in the physical and in the spiritual realm, okay? Things are going to come to fruition for you. You've got the chariot next, okay? Some of you could be looking for a new place to live, all right? So there could be some kind of progress made with that this week. Could be looking for a new vehicle. What's going on with the chariot? Eight of Wands. That's fast movement. This, yeah, this could definitely be a move. Now, this could be you moving on in love with the Queen of Cups showing up here. Um, but I mainly feel you guys in this really uh, optimistic flow here with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands. It's like you guys are just very happy to be moving on from something, even if you don't know exactly where you're going yet. Some of you, it could be a week where you find clarity about that because the Eight of Wands is a card of precision. Maybe it's like 
wow, I knew that I was moving, but I didn't know where I was moving. Now I see something I want and I'm going for it. I think that's why she's focused on this cup here in the card. It's like, I'm going to go for that. You have the strength card right here, Leo energy. Let's look at that. What's going on with the strength card? Some of you could have Saturn and Taurus, uh, Jupiter and Pisces, maybe Mercury and Sagittarius. How about the strength card? Ace of Swords, another Ace of Swords. I like that for you guys. And you know, I think that whatever's been held back is going to come out. I think that it may, um, you have a choice here, Scorpio, to feed some kind of conflict or to keep moving towards stability. The fours talk about stability, nose on the grindstone kind of energy. Stay focused, Scorpio. You have this five of wands here. That's conflict, competition, strife. I think there's somebody expressing some kind of truth to you. And I do feel as if they're kind of trying to throw you off here. The high priestess, there are hidden motives, hidden intentions here. Um, and they're expressing something to you. And it does feel like it's halfway true, but it feels like there's a lot that they're holding back. Like their intentions and in expressing this um, are not true. You know, they're not pure. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind here, the strength card. I do feel like you're going to persevere overall, but I think that somebody may have needed that warning there. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. Please feel free to watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your week. Bye.